coming back here, I felt like I, like I was coming home after a long trip. Oh my goodness. So coming back actually was so welcoming. And seeing the people, it was just like seeing my family again. The, the team that I came back to, we were all pretty much intact and we were a tight team to begin with. And so it, it, was, it was great coming back. Nice, warm welcome. A few hugs here and there. I thought, oh my gosh, I'm home. Sometimes you realize when you go somewhere else, you know, how great the company is um, that you are at. I didn't feel like I was at work anymore. I didn't watch the clock anymore. So it was kind of coming home a little bit, kind of very comfortable, but also very new and kind of exciting and unfamiliar because we'd had, now the focus had really changed. We were much more agile, much more focused on mobile, much more focused on product. There was a lot of stuff that was the same that I was happy. Most of those were sort of the, the, the DNA culture that I think Jerry and David gave the company. And uh, the commitment to technical excellence was sort of renewed and in some ways better than ever. We encourage our employees to, to seek to be happy. We want our employees to take risks. We want our employees to, uh, you know, look at what's best for them and they encourage that. And whether that's inside or outside of Yahoo, it's consistent. And I really like that aspect coming back as a boomer. I've been at other companies which have been great, but it definitely has a unique culture which I haven't been able to find in other places. Even as the CEO of a startup, I used to worry about can I keep the culture of the startup intact at 100 people? And to see that the Jerry and David sort of DNA had been intact at the company over 20 years and through 20,000 plus employees that had come through the company, I just, I still can't get my head around like how you create such a fundamental, strong culture. The accessibility that you have to people here at every level uh, is amazing. Um, you're more than a number. There's not going to be a lot of opportunities where I can work with a leadership team that's as strong and impactful but also that had such a belief in me and my skill that even though I left, they still wanted to, you know, they wanted me back. They wanted the impact that they believed I could bring. We are one of the largest footprints. The problems we have for search and mobile, et cetera, are at a unique scale. What's the human extent of impact we can have as humans, right? Typically it's restricted to sort of the people we know face to face. It's pretty rare to have an impact that is hundreds of com countries, hundreds of millions of people. We actually touch millions of lives every single month where other companies are aspiring to that. We actually do it. It's just bread and butter for Yahoo is to deal in the hundreds of millions. For a company of this scale, the transparency at Yahoo is freaking incredible. The go-to example to me is FYI. It's an opportunity every week where people can get informed from the top uh, layers of management of how the company is doing. Being able to have visibility into what other areas of the company are doing and how they're grading themselves, making sure we're all kind of like measuring ourselves by the same metrics, understanding the impact that they have on the business and how they're making us be successful. Uh, the, the questioning system that allows uh, employees to submit the questions and have them be voted on and be submitted that they're going to be coming to the senior management to respond to as well as random questions. I mean, it's it's a scary format for senior executives, I think, because they're really putting themselves out there. There still exists uh, sort of this sorority or fraternity of, of former employees. We still hang out together, we still meet, and if you talk to them, they say, I don't do this with any other company. It's only my Yahoo coworkers that I do this with. It feels like family. It doesn't feel like you're coming to work. It's a brand of passion.